For this tutorial, we will be reviewing how to troubleshoot the Mojave Dry Vacuum System in an office setting. VFD Error This VFD error will cause the pump to shut down. To start, open the front panel of the power module by unscrewing the four Phillips head screws to see the VFD. Read and record the error code displayed by the VFD. Always record the error code before resetting the VFD. Reset the VFD by shutting off the main circuit breaker and waiting three minutes until the VFD completely resets and then turn the breaker back on. Always wait the full three minutes for the VFD to reset. There are capacitors that keep it powered even after the power is off. If the code remains, contact technical service. If the VFD shows RDY, the error has been cleared and the pump will turn back on. Contact technical service and let them document the error code and provide suggestions. When the VFD totally resets, it clicks and the LED on its front panel shuts off. When a feedback error occurs, this will usually cause the pump to shut down. The possible problems are the interface board, the harness between the interface board and the VFD, or the VFD itself. All three components are found in the power module. This error will reset itself when the automatic self-diagnosis feature runs, when the pump is disconnected then reconnected, or when power to the MMC is cycled. The automatic self-diagnosis feature. Every four hours, each pump connected to the MMC that is not on will be turned on for six seconds, then turned off sequentially. This feature ensures that all pumps are functioning properly and prevents locked rotors. The control error occurs when the pump is running and the MMC did not instruct it to run. Check the bypass switch and ensure that it is in the off position. If the problem continues with the bypass switch in the correct position, change the port on the MMC that the CAT5 cable is connected to. If this doesn't stop the error, change the CAT5 cable. If the error still occurs, change the interface board, then the power module, and finally the MMC. The tank error shuts off all vacuum pumps. Check the liquid level in the tank. If it is high, ensure that the gate valve is open and the tank drain check valve is not clogged. Open the valve and or fix the clog and allow one minute for the tank to drain and the pump should turn back on automatically. If the liquid level is low or the tank is empty, disconnect the bottom float switch. If the pumps turn on, the float switch must be replaced. The vacuum error shuts off all vacuum pumps. It occurs when the vacuum level is either below 0.5 inches HG or the measured vacuum level is 1 inch HG or more higher than the set vacuum point one minute. If the vacuum level is lower than 0.5 inches HG, most likely the vacuum tube from the MMC to the tank assembly or the vacuum tube to the PCB in the MMC is not connected. If the vacuum level is one inch HG higher than the set point, the tubing could be pinched or kinked, not allowing the vacuum level to change. The MMC does not read any pumps connected to it. Ensure that the CAT5 cable is plugged into the pump assembly and the MMC. Ensure that the VFD has power and the display reads RDY. If the VFD is OK and connection error remains, replace the interface board. If VFD is not OK, ensure power is going to the VFD, and if so, replace the power module. If not, restore power to the VFD. The drain error occurs when a tripped float which shuts all vacuum pumps off does not clear itself after one minute. Check the liquid level in the tank. If it is high, ensure that the gate valve is open and the tank drain check valve is not clogged. Open the valve and or fix the clog and allow one minute for the tank to drain and the pumps should turn back on automatically. If the liquid level is low or the tank is empty, disconnect the bottom float switch. If the pump turns on, the float switch must be replaced. The critical temperature error shuts off all vacuum pumps. If the PCB temperature is above 130 degrees Fahrenheit, the pumps shut off to protect themselves from permanent damage. The system will restart when the temperature is below 130 degrees and the power to the MMC is cycled. If you have no suction and the pump doesn't run, ensure that the MMC is plugged in and the circuit breakers are not tripped. Then check that the circuit breaker on the power module is in the on position. Be sure that the facility breaker is switched on as well as the low voltage remote control panel switch. Thank you for taking the time to review this video. And if you have any other questions about this product, please contact us at 800-247-8324.